Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a royal icing ribbon rose. So let's get started. So what you're going to need to make the royal icing ribbon roses are, is royal icing and we have a video up and we'll link that for you at the bottom in the show notes. Um, it's also, this bag is fitted with a number 12 round tip, Wilton, and you'll also need a number 4 petal tip. You can use any petal tip, I'm just going to show you on the larger size. Um, you'll need some non-toxic glue, flower nail, and some parchment paper, and a wet cloth for cleaning your tip also comes in handy. So to start out the ribbon rose, we need to have a base. Using the number 12 tip, I'm going to squeeze nice and gently until it's about a centimeter in diameter, or about half an inch for imperial people. Just keep coming up, coming up, coming up, and then you're going to stop pressure and squeeze and release. And the good judge for the height of the base is, is you want it to be one and a half times the tip of your flower petal. So you put this down here and just approximately if it's one and about a half, you've got a good base on there, which will give you enough room to do all of your petals. So these will have to dry. Um, you'll need about an hour or two hours for the royal icing to completely dry. Even I find lots of success just leaving things overnight and doing them the next day. So I've got some dry ones I can substitute in. I'm going to change my tip to the 104 and I'll be back to show you how to make the ribbon. So to start out, you want to have your base um, with the parchment paper attached to your flower nail. What I find is handy is to put on the non-toxic glue. I'm going to put enough so it sticks properly. And then just press it down. You want to have it right in the center with your 104 tip. The round, the fat part is going to be near the bay, is going to be always facing down. You're going to attach your tip and then just start to squeeze. And this ribbon rose is just one solid squeeze all the way around till you get back to the start and you're going to attach it and press down. Each time you go around, clean off your tip so then you have a fresh start. And when you're making the ribbon rose, you want to make sure that you start kind of staggering your start spots. So I always turn it about a quarter. Um, and that way you stop yourself from having a line of, um, of the starting points and the creases uh, in the exact same spot. So the second one, just going to go slightly down below and then start attach the icing. Start pressure, turning the flower nail, coming back to the start and pressing down, squeezing it away. Clean off your tip. Now, when you get to the third row, I'm just gonna slightly angle my tip out just a little bit. Quarter turn it to start, attach the icing, and start pressure. Turning your flower around through the nail and squeeze down and away. Quarter turn, first start, one more time. Attach, pre attach the icing. Squeezing, nice solid motion, and coming back to the start, squeezing down and away. So that is how you make a ribbon rose out of royal icing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment to let us know how you think we're doing. Thanks!